Hi everyone. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you, or this example video here is about uh, logical operations and logical functions in Excel. Uh, these are a little bit uh, more simple than what we'll see in Python, but we still have the two basic uh, things that we see in Python and in programming. We have if statements uh, and we have uh, comparison operations. Um, so I just want to highlight, I'm going to uh, just highlight three different kinds of uh, if statements that we have in Excel. Uh, the first we have um, just the classical if statement. So if some condition, and then uh, and th this is a function in Excel. So if some condition, and then it gets the value if it's true and the value if it's false. And the condition we have to give is something like some cell greater than or less than or equal to some number where we use these comparison operators. So we use equals sign. So notice that in Python, we have to have a comparison operation as two equals, but in Excel, we have just a single equal sign. Uh, in um, uh, the not equal sign is also different. It's sort of greater than and less than together. And then we have less than, less than or equal, greater than and greater than or equal. So an example of the if function so suppose I have a cell that I make two and a cell that I make three, and I put in this cell, if B16 is equal to B17, I will return uh, B16. So if they're equal, I'll return this. If not, I'll give a five. And what does that do? That gives me a five. But I can play around with this. If I make Y a two, it will return two, okay? And why does it do that? Well, because it said, it would return B16 here if they're equal to each other, okay? Um, I, I'm gonna hit undo on that. I can play around with this instead of making them equal, all right, I can uh, change it and make it not equal, for instance. So now when they're not equal, it gives me two. I could change that one to be four, and it'll give me B16, whereas if I make it three, it'll return five, okay? So that's an if statement there. Um, uh, usually the if statement isn't super useful in Excel, but I wanted to show it to you uh, to, to sort of complete the comparison to the Python. Uh, more useful in Excel is count if and sum if. So in count if and sum if, what you do is you give it a range of the things you want to count, and then you give it uh, a comparison operation that you're going to do on that entire range. So what I'm doing here, as I say, I'm going to count the cells in the box that aren't equal to five. Okay. Uh, so here uh, I'm showing, uh, this is just text to say what this formula is right here. This formula says from A22 to B24, count if it's not equal to five. I notice that I have to put that in quotes. If I get rid of these quotes, okay, it screws up the formula. So it needs it in quotes to say not equal to five. Uh, and so how many are there that aren't equal to five? Well, there are five of them, okay? I could say something else. I could say greater than five. How many are gonna be greater than five? There's only one right there, this guy. Sorry, I pointed, I'm using a different uh, webcam today and it's at a different location, so. Uh, but so I have this guy down here in the corner. That's greater than five, so I only have one of those. Or I could say, less than five, I should have four of those guys, okay? So that's my count if. And finally, sum if is a similar idea, except instead of just counting the number of those cells, it'll add up the value that's in those cells. So here I'm gonna sum the cells in the box that are greater than three. So my, my range is from A28 to B30, and I'm gonna add up greater than three. Well, that should add up four and five and six, and that should give me 15. And indeed, it does give me 15. But I could put it differently. I could say add up all the numbers that aren't equal to 3. That should add up everybody but the 3. So that should add up these 15 plus those 3 gives me 18. Or I could say only add up the ones that equal 3. And then I only have one of those. That'll give me 3. But I could change this and make that also 3. And it would give me 6. Okay? So that's just a little bit of playing around with logical functions. So uh, here's a little practice uh, to find out. So let's find the average homework score 
Uh, suppose I have 12 students in a class and these are their homework scores. Let me find the average uh, homework score. So remember, this is the function average. You can highlight the entire range. And that gives me an average of 21. But suppose that I want to uh, throw out the zeros. I want to know what's the average of everybody that didn't get a zero on the homework. Well, let me find the number of scores that are greater than zero. So let me do that. Let me count if. Well, let me say why I'm doing this, right? So if I want to find the average, I have to add up all the ones that aren't zero and divide by the number of all the ones that weren't zero. So I'm going to do that by doing a count if and uh, getting that range. And then I'm going to say I want all the ones that are greater than zero. And remember, I have to do the quotation mark there. And that gives me 10. That's true, right? I know there's 12, there's two zeros. I have 10 scores that are greater than zero. Now let me find the sum. To do that, I want to do sum if. So sum if that same range, comma, and now I want greater than zero, close parentheses. That gives me 253. So what's the average? Well, the average is going to be that divided by 10, just 25.3. So if I throw out the two zeros, obviously the class average is much better than it was if I just included those zeros. Okay, so then I can come look. Here's a key just to make sure I did it right, and it is right. Okay, so uh, that's using logical functions in Excel. Uh, it's reasonably straightforward. Uh, I think the most difficult parts of this are remembering that the comparison operators are different than in programming Python. Um, and remembering that you have to put the conditions in count if and sum if in, in uh, quotation marks, but you don't in the if statement. So I think those are the most difficult things to remember. Uh, have a little practice uh, doing this, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.